Alright folks, how are we doing today? Darth Ram out here, just going for a little ride. And I figured I'd pull over to the side of the road and do what everybody that does motovlogs does at some point in time. And that is a bike reveal. Everybody kind of names their bikes. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. Most people who names their bike after a girl or something like that. I've named myself or my bike after a food. Specifically, a creamsicle. Now the reason I call it a creamsicle is because of the paint job. It will remind you of a creamsicle. When you think about your childhood and if you've ever had a creamsicle, it's orange on the outside and then you got the, the actual cream, the white center, that kind of deal. Anyways, here's my creamsicle. Kind of fitting, I think. It's nothing really too special. It's an 04 Victory Vegas. I love this bike. I think it's a great bike. Nice power. Nothing too stupid, but it's got a nice power. Because it's an 04, it's got the 92 cubic inch. Not the big ones that are out now. But that's the way it is. And I do apologize if it's a little dirty because I was just out riding around and some of the roads were a little gross still from this morning. But yeah, it's relatively stock. At least on the back end it is. Moving more forward, that's where things get to change a little bit. I got rid of all the pegs and put on floorboards because I like the feeling of floorboards. And also because I have really big ass feet, so I, I need some extra coverage. So we also put on the heel toe shifter, which I don't care for. Like that was there beforehand. I don't care for that. I want to go to a single because I do find that this part here, I never ever use it anyways. So I just stick to that. But because of my long ass legs, I actually put on an extension piece down by the, for the floorboards. It's now moved forward two inches, which definitely makes a big deal. Uh, as you can kind of tell, new handlebars. When I bought the bike, the previous owner had removed the stock bars and put on drag bars, which were very low and straight down. But again, I'm very tall and that hurt my back because of a car accident. So I wanted to be sitting more upright. So I put on 18 inch ape hangers and then I put on the Arlen S curved mirrors because I just like to look. They just, they, they add to it. Uh, but yeah, otherwise not much more. It's got an HID headlight conversion, which makes a big difference at night and got rid of the signal lights and replaced them with these LED wraparounds, which from the dealer, they said to be careful because I guess technically they would be considered illegal because I guess your signal lights are supposed to stick out a certain distance, which I guess it would be depending on the cop if they want to give you a ticket or not. I've been by many cops. No one's ever given me a problem. The one thing that I do like about these over your regular incandescent lights, the regular incandescent lights are just directional, straightforward. That's it. Because these are wraparound, they go all the way around. So even the vehicles on the side can see these things. And these are a hell of a lot brighter than your incandescent light bulbs. Like they're just phenomenally bright. I don't know if they'll show up with the four ways on right now. No, let me just try to get some juice going. And we'll put these on and we'll try to see. See, now those are pretty bright and this is right in the middle of the daylight. I, I would challenge anybody that's got their stock incandescent lights to show that they're brighter than those things are. Like you can see, they wrap right around the fork. Everybody can see it. And then, like I said, that's during the day. At night, they're even brighter than that. Uh, there was another moto vlogger uh, here in town. He was looking at getting something like that, but he never did. He didn't know anybody that had it. And I mentioned it about how bright they were and to check them out so maybe I'll link them to this but yeah 
that's about it. I've tried different things. I took the saddlebags off because I wanted to get rid of the saddlebag look. And then after a while, I got tired of riding with a backpack. So I put the saddlebags back on. Uh, the bike does have a windshield, which I only put on when I'm going on the road, like on the highway, just because to cut down on the wind. Like everybody knows what the purpose of a windshield is. And uh, yeah, the only other mod modifications that I really want to do is I want to get rid of the airbox and put a, an s and s intake on and get rid of these stock pipes well, even though they sound beautiful like they, they really do they, i think they sound great just on their own i want to get rid of those and then put down uh their cutaways they droop straight down to here the only downside is here where i live in edmonton we have this stupid stupid ass bylaw which just targets motorcycles on how loud their exhausts can be. It's completely discriminatory. They don't target cars. They don't target trucks. It's strictly motorbikes. And that's the problem. If you want to make a bylaw trying to enforce a, a, a volume on an exhaust, well, then you have to include everybody. But no, we have these import cars that I got these humongous tomato soup can exhaust pipes and they make more noise than my bike does. We have big diesel trucks because we, well, I live in what's known as oil country. We have oil fields. That's what more or less runs this part of the country is the oil fields. We have these guys coming out with their big diesel trucks. I have a big diesel truck as well. My exhaust isn't obnoxious. It's loud, but it's not obnoxious. Some guys, their exhaust is so obnoxious, but they don't get nailed. Only motorcycles. So that's what makes me nervous about putting on the cutaway exhaust because I don't want to make my bike loud or louder than what it is to make the cops want to pull me over. Because everybody knows when a cop pulls over a bike, they're going to go through your bike left, right, and center. And I just don't need that, especially when you're just out for a ride. You don't want to get hassled or anything like that. You just want to enjoy the ride. Leave me be. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not hurting no one. I just want to ride my bike. So that's why I haven't really done the pipes yet, but I'm pretty sure eventually I will. Uh, the, the next step would be like on the front with the wraparound signal lights. I want to uh, do the same thing for my tail lights. The tail lights are going to go, and I'm going to have a LED wraparound signal light placed in here, which will relocate the, the license plate to the side, which is okay by me. But that's what I want to do. And that's about it. Oh, yeah. And new handle grips. I just haven't figured out what kind yet. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. I got nothing else. That's the bike. Pretty simplistic. Nothing too, too astonishing or anything like that. I just think it's a nice looking bike. Very comfortable. It's the way it is. Yeah. And it's dirty, like I said, because I just finished going for a big ride. So I got bugs. They don't come stock. I had to, those are aftermarket bugs. Uh, and yeah. Okay, kids. Have a good one. See you later.